वेलकम फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ शॉप्तपोर्णी फ्रॉम बाय लाइफ होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेरी वेल सो टूडे आई एम हियर टू टीच यू अबाउट अ वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ इकोलॉजी द कम्युनिटी स्ट्रक्चर एंड स्पीसीज डाइवर्सिटी इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट वॉट इज कम्युनिटी वॉट इज स्पीसीज रिचनेस वॉट इज रिलेटिव अबांडेंस एंड वॉट इज रैंक अबांडेंस कार्व एंड इन माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट स्पीसीज वॉट इज सिम्सन्स डायवर्सिटी इंडेक्स वॉट इज सैनोन विवर इंडेक्स ओके so without further delay let's begin and before beginning if you are new to my channel i would like to request you to kindly press the bell button and subscribe the channel and if you like this video don't hit uh, forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends okay so what is community community is a group of species occupying a given area interacting either directly or indirectly okay so community is nothing but an assemblage of different species present in a given area and they are interacting with each other okay and you know that what is species species are actually uh, a population of individuals which are reproductively isolated from uh, another population okay from other species okay so species are actually reproductively isolated organism and community is a is an assemblage of different species in a given area now coming to the next point what is species richness species richness is the most simplest measure of species diversity in a community okay it just accounts for the total number of species occurring within a community okay so it 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 just the number total number of species present in a community and it gives same weightage to common and rare species okay so there is no difference in weightage now coming to the next point what is relative abundance see in a community obviously there are a various type of species present but all of them are not equally abundant so the percentage of each species in a community is known as the relative abundance of that species in that community okay so let me show you a chart here this is a informative chart here so see here two communities are here community a and community b community a has six species a b c d e f so what is the species richness of community a obviously six the total number of species and what is the species richness of community b 1 2 3 4 a b e f so four is the species richness of community b now this column is uh, depicting the number of total number of individuals of each species and here the capital n is the total number of individuals of all the species present in community a similarly in community b you can also see that now what is relative abundance relative abundance means the total number of species a divided by that that is 10 divided by total number of all the individuals of all the species present in the uh, community a multiplied by 100 because it is uh, presented in percentage value so it is 33.33% and you can also present in in the form of pr proportion so then we will not uh, multiply it by 100 then the relative abundance will be 10 by 30 that is 0.33 okay if we present it in percentage then the total will be 100 and if we uh, present it in proportion th then the total will be 1 okay so similarly see here in the community b we can also get the relative abundance in percentage value so what is the formula of relative abundance of species a or any species the total number of individuals of species a in the community divided by total number of all the individuals of all the species in the in that community multiplied by 100 if we want to represent it in the form of percentage okay so this is the uh, this is the idea of relative abundance now the next thing comes uh, the rank abundance curve okay now coming to the rank abundance curve or rank abundance graph what is that this is a species ranking system based on relative abundance okay where rank are given uh, on the x axis uh, based on the from the most to least abundant abundance okay so in the x axis you can see we have plotted the rank okay here we have plotted the rank 1 to 7 let's 
one to six, one to six. Okay, and the rank one has the most relative abundance, whereas rank six has the least relative abundance. Okay, and in y-axis we have plotted the relative abundance in proportion. So in y-axis relative abundance in proportion. You can also uh, plot it as uh, in log ten uh, base if you want to com uh, if you want to uh, make it concise. Okay, so that in a small Space you can uh, represent uh, the m m common and rare species in a small space. Okay, so then you can also use the log ten base in y axis to represent the relative abundance. So see here how we have plotted this curve. So see. This is the same community, community A and community B. But what is the difference here? In community A, relative abundance is present in proportion, not in percentage. Similarly, in community B also. Okay. So see here, this is the same, uh, same, uh, uh, same information actually uh, we have seen earlier. So here the. Uh, relative abundance of A is 0.33, then B is 0.17, C is 0.1, D is 0.07, E is 0.2, and F is 0.13. Now we have ranked them from highest to lowest. So what is highest here? 0.33. So it is ranked as one. Then what is the second highest? 0.2. So it is ranked as two. And like that we have given the rank. Similarly, in the community B, we have also ranked them. Okay, so you you can see here only three ranks are present here. Okay, now we have plotted this rank in the x-axis and this relative abundance in proportion in the y-axis. So see here, see here. Okay. Rank in x-axis and relative abundance in y-axis, and this is the curve of community B, the black one, and this is the curve of community A, the uh, blue one. You can see that uh, the rank one of community A have what what relative abundance? It it have zero point three three. So we have plot rank one at the point zero point three three, and like that we have plotted the. Uh, graph of community A and also the graph of community B. And what can you interpret from this graph? See, from this graph, we can easily say that community A has more species richness as the length of the curve is longer than the community B. We can e because see here, community A has six species, whereas community B has only four species. We have seen in the information table. Okay. Now you can also see that, or say that, the community A has more species evenness than community B, as community A has a more gradual slope than community B. Okay, so from this rank abundance curve, you can easily uh, interpret about the uh, species richness and species evenness, difference in species richness and species evenness between. Two communities. So community A has more species richness and species evenness, as it has greater length uh, and more gradual slope uh, of rank abundance curve than community B. Okay. So uh, by plotting the rank abundance graph, you can easily compare two communities based on their species richness and species evenness. So for today, it is enough. Uh, we will meet in the next video. Thanks for watching and happy learning.